We Egyptians are always coming up with solutions to complicated problems. For instance, the Nile's floodwaters are so important that we developed a way to predict when they would arrive. We watch the moon and stars very carefully in order to keep track of the river's rise and fall. Out of that, we created a really accurate calendar with 365 days. The Sumerians only have 360 days in their calendar. Our New Year starts with the first day of the flood, when the star Sirius rises directly with the sun. Then we have four months of Akhet, the time of flooding, four months of Purit, the time of sowing, when the river recedes and four months of Shimu, the time of harvest and heat. Everything in Egypt revolves around the seasons of the Nile. But not only did we figure out when the Nile was going to flood, we also figured out how well it would flood. We built a Nileometer to keep track. It measures the water level at all times, letting us know the best height for the incoming floods. If the flood is too low, we don't have enough water for our crops. If the flood is too high, everything washes away. Lucky for us, most years the Nile floods are just right. We can grow all kinds of crops, like barley, wheat, flax, vegetables, and fruits. Dad says we have been farming like this for thousands of years. That makes us very experienced and well-organized farmers. If the floods are good, it's easy to grow enough food for everyone. And that frees up time for us to work on other projects, like building cities and temples. We couldn't do any of that if it was hard to grow food and we were hungry. So thanks to the Nile, we have a land of abundance. That's what Dad means when he calls Egypt the gift of the Nile. Speaking of Dad, where is he? I'm ready to start this boat down the river. We're going from Thebes down to Tanis, where Pharaoh Ramses lives, to deliver some important documents. <laughs>